So your testicles hurt and it's driving you crazy. I'm going to tell you three tips that you can do at home starting tomorrow to help relieve the discomfort. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Dr. Segel, Eurocoach. So your testicles hurt and you should certainly see a healthcare provider whenever you have that problem. I'm gonna tell you three ways you can improve the discomfort right now at home. And at the end, I'm gonna give you my pearl of wisdom for the way that we improve testicular pain that tends to work universally for different kinds of testicular pain. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, but first, please like, subscribe, comment. We want to hear what you guys want to hear us talk about. All right, so the first therapy I want to talk about is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. And the first thing you're going to say is that's a cop-out. Everybody says take Motrin, Aleve, Naproxen to improve pain. But I'm going to tell you why it works particularly well for this kind of pain. So when patients have testicular pain, pain in the pelvis, etc. We think it's maybe an exaggerated inflammatory response. So the idea is that maybe there's a low level of bacteria in the lower urinary tract. And remember the prostate, testicles, urethra, bladder, it's all connected. And if there's a small amount of bacteria in there, even if you don't have a true clinical urinary tract infection, it can induce perpetual inflammation and that inflammation can be uncomfortable. So what a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug does is that it inhibits an enzyme cyclooxygenase that helps form prostaglandins. These prostaglandins cause the pain down there. And if we can inhibit that enzyme from forming prostaglandins, then your pain gets better. And that's why for this type of pain, testicular pain, chronic scrotal pain, NSAIDs are particularly helpful. So the next kind of therapy I want to talk about is cold therapy and heat therapy. So I'll start with cold therapy because it works in a similar way as NSAIDs, okay? So cold therapy will reduce inflammation in an area. If you ever notice when a guy blows out his knee on an NFL sidelines, the first thing that they're doing is putting an ice pack on there and with, for good reason. That decreases the inflammation in there, decreases the prostaglandins and helps with the discomfort. So the same idea, if there's chronic amount of small amount of bacteria in the lower urinary tract, causing perpetual inflammation, applying ice to the area can help reduce that inflammation and improve discomfort. So the other part of it is heat therapy. Why does heat therapy work? So if you think about it, some testicular discomfort or scrotal discomfort can be because of a muscle strain. So there's muscles in your groin and in the testicle, the scrotum, there's the dartos muscle and cremasteric muscles. So if these muscles are damaged, like if you have a true muscle strain in the area, the fibers of the muscle actually are breaking down. So what we wanna do in that situation is improve blood flow to the area to help the muscle repair itself, okay? And over time, if you apply heat therapy, then that muscle repair will happen in a more accelerated way. So then the next question you have is, wait a second, cold therapy, heat therapy, you're telling me to do both? The answer is, yeah, we try both oftentimes because if the pain is from an inflammatory process, cold therapy will be helpful. If the pain is from a muscle strain or a tear in a muscle fiber, heat therapy will be helpful. So oftentimes we have patients try cold therapy, alternate it with heat therapy and see which one works. Sometimes if they have both inflammatory reasons and musculoskeletal reasons for the pain, alternating cold therapy and heat therapy will actually work. This brings me to my pearl of wisdom. What's one therapy that usually works for any kind of testicular discomfort? And that's scrotal support. I'm not talking about like a help group for the scrotum. I'm talking about holding the scrotum immobile. So how do you do that? Usually a jock strap, or I oftentimes will tell guys, buy some briefs, but buy a pair of briefs that's smaller than the size that you may usually wear. But why does this work for both kinds of testicular discomfort, inflammatory and musculoskeletal? So for inflammatory, if you think about it, if the prostaglandins are floating around in the area of the testicle and the testicle is moving, the nerve endings are getting more irritated. So you're gonna feel that discomfort more. For musculoskeletal, the principle of therapy with any kind of muscle strain is to keep it still. So scrotal support or leaving the scrotum immobile will hold the muscles still in the scrotum and hopefully help with the discomfort. So I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you some things you can try at home to potentially improve it when your testicles hurt. I know it's a frustrating thing for us as doctors and certainly for patients. Please like, subscribe, comment. We want to hear what you want us to talk about. There's certainly way more we can talk about on this topic. Thank you so much for listening.